Okay, so how's it going, dude? Uh, here's a tutorial on how to sync up your Abletons using the backline program. Okay, so um, once you've installed it, you just really want to just open it up here. The first time you install it might take a while to go through your plugins and validate each audio unit in VST, but once it's loaded, you just have to go up to this tools menu and load up MIDI timecode. Uh, then any MIDI device that you've got connected will show up as a tickable box um, where you can you know, simultaneously output the MIDI timecode. So, um, as I was saying um, about the IAC driver, this is like um, a virtual MIDI port or a number of virtual MIDI ports that you can route from within the same uh, MacBook. So we can use the IAC bus to sync the Ableton that's running on the host MacBook and you can use the network session which is kind of like MIDI over network for um, any other MacBooks that are connected um, usually via Ethernet cable rather than Wi-Fi, you know, so there's uh, kind of less lag and stuff. So um, let's have a look. I'll show you where you can set um, your IAC bus and network session if they're not showing up here. Um, you'll want to go to Applications, Utilities, and then grab your audio MIDI setup probably pull a shortcut down to your dock because you'll end up using this quite a lot if you don't already. Now from here you've got two windows um, your audio devices which we're not really focusing on for this but the MIDI, the MIDI window those two guys here IAC driver and network just double click either of them and if you don't have an IAC bus set up, you just add a number of buses um, with the plus here and make sure your device is online once you've added one. Now for network session, um, I'm just going to assume that you've got your second MacBook uh, connected via Ethernet or maybe Thunderbolt, anything that will anything, anything that'll transfer network data. You double click this and make a session with this plus button, make a session ticket on both Macs. Now, providing you're connected with your Ethernet cable, um, the name of the other Mac will show up in this directory window. Um, you know, each Mac will have the other Mac written um, or showing up in this with this window here. So you just hit connect. Um, make sure on both of them it's um, set to anyone rather than only computers in my directory or you you might get dropouts you know it might lose connection every now and then but providing you've set both of those up IAC bus and your network set up you're good to go so let's head over to Ableton and we'll go to the MIDI sync page in Ableton now um, I'm only screen capturing from one Mac at, at the moment, so um, I'll have to just kind of show you what to do on one Mac on this and then what to do on the other Mac um, separately. So we've said that the host Mac is going to receive MIDI timecode from IAC bus 2 and any slave Macs network session 1. So we'll just tick both of those. On the host Mac, I need to make sure IAC bus 2 sync is switched on and it's on MIDI timecode. Now on the other Mac, um, the slave, what I would have needed to do is um, tick network session MIDI timecode. So we'll just imagine that you know that this is set, set up on the slave Mac. Okay so then you hit X and when you hit run on backline, your Ableton clock will now be um, synced to the timecode from backline. Um, a couple of things uh, 
MIDI timecode doesn't carry tempo information, so you are kind of stuck to one tempo if, if you do it this way, but it's definitely a lot tighter than if you, if you do it MIDI clock, it's kind of drifting by a fraction of a BPM, you know, kind of constantly every every quarter note. So um, IAC is rock solid. You know, you can test it, put both your metronomes on and they'll be phasing because they're, they're so in, in time. If you did want, if you do want to change the tempo, uh, stop back line, switch X off, change the tempo. This is on both machines. Switch X back on, and then just flick back over to back line and run. Um, let me think. One other thing um, once you're all set up in sync, um, if you're stopping and starting back line, make sure that all your clips are stopped. If you start back line um, while clips are in play mode, they don't start at the right time, so everything will kind of be out of time. So just make sure you've stopped all your clips before you stop and start back line. Okay, okay, cool. Well, um, best of luck. Uh, give me a shout. Uh, either way, if it works out, if not, I can give you a hand, maybe troubleshoot. But um, yeah, it should keep all your Abletons in sync. Cheers, man.